All right, let's get started right off the rip. We titled it Dune because you've seen Dune. You saw it in the movie theaters. IMAX. IMAX is the biggest night. screen you can see it in? Yeah, or there's Cinemark, uh, RDX, but I didn't go to What's that. What's that mean? Is it bigger than IMAX? No, nah, I think IMAX is the biggest. Okay, so you saw it in the biggest version that's available. Yes. On the biggest, getting it loudest? Yes. And then what was your uh, take? Favorite film of the year? It, it is almost November, so you've seen quite a the, many films. Uh, it's my most hyped film for the past two years now, because it got delayed, obviously. You knew it was coming out two years ago? Yeah. And it was supposed to come out last November, and I uh, got pushed back with the vid. So I was, you were I was hyped for 2020's version of it. And then I said, oh, okay, we'll watch it in 2021. It'll happen. It'll happen in October. And I'll be anticipating it the whole time. Okay. I'll see it. Okay. I'll go to IMAX for it. Cause, Biggest cause best way you can do it. Yes. You know, I don't see everything. I barely, I haven't seen a movie in IMAX in years. Are you going to see uh, the one night of uh, Last Rocky Five, Four? Five, four? No. I want to. I kind of want night. to. Yeah. I'd go if you want to go. I kind of want Yeah. I mean, that comes out on demand the next day. Um, Back to Dune. Dune. So you Denny. saw it in IMAX. I saw it on a 65 inch TV. Yeah. 65. Yeah. I mean, I appreciated it. But you, I didn't you, have to go anywhere. Your best sound system still cannot... Sure, I know. I mean, it's only 5.1. I don't have 7.1. IMAX. It, it, I don't have Dolby it, Atmos. IMAX does things for me. <laughs> yeah, I saw Avatar in IMAX. Eh, it was eh, amazing. Eh, well, that movie will be disgusting. That movie eats nuts, but it was amazing. Yes. Uh, so, Dune... You saw the book, so you had background. You saw the, the original book. movie. The yes, you've, re you've seen the original movie. 1984. And you've read, what, just the first book or any of the sequels? I know I've read the first one. I might have read the second one Messiah? years ago. Messiah's second. Dune Messiah, yeah. That could be the third part if they go for a three-part movie. Dune, Dune, Dune. It's actually a graphic novel, too. Yeah. That's I think his son has written a couple. Yeah, because he died back in the 80s. This guy died? It's Robert like Pattinson? Yeah, Frank. What? What's his name? Frank Herbert? Kirkman. Robert Kirkman has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Dear God. Robert Pattinson did not write this. Right? What's that his man name? has nothing to do with it. What's his name? Frank Herbert. Frank Herbert died, and then his kid made other books? Yes. Okay, all right, good. All right, so you saw it in the biggest screen. Yes. I saw it in just a regular screen. It is a cinematic... It's a audio-visual... Orgasm. Mm, that's powerful. It, it did things. It... Is and I didn't sit next to you in a theater. <laughs> is it a flawless film? No. Has there ever been? No. What's the closest film that you think would be flawless? I'm not going to... Uh, you ponder that. I'm not going to ponder. It's way too many. Um, what was a, cri a criticism of this movie? It's, it's okay to have criticism. It's obviously not a complete film, as your main problem was as of Saturday when I spoke, or Sunday when I spoke to you. Yes, when it I... It's not uh, a complete film. Not a complete film. So, if you don't know it's Dune Part 1, because they didn't market it like that, I don't care that they didn't market it like Why that. Why didn't they market it like that? Because they, not everyone's going to see it anyway. Not everybody, you think people, people, less people, people would see it if they knew it was like, oh, one so I gotta go to a part one now, what is this? I don't want to go see a part one of so something. That's so that's deliberately so probably, manipulating. Yeah, I that wanted, was my beef. You know, I they called it chapter, they called it, when it came out, it chapter one, I'm pretty sure. At least you knew in Star Wars that they started at four. And you go, oh, they're starting at four. That shit's yes. crazy. All right. There's gotta be other ones if they're starting at four. Yeah. But I mean, again, Dune is not, it's, it's not, not a film. Avatar. It's not a blockbuster that was going to make $10 billion. Doesn't have an of. ending. No. It it cuts off... It's yeah. like the second Matrix. Yes. It stops... It's like the Lord of the Rings, the first one. Yeah, they don't they blow up the They start walking to the, mo to the mountain or whatever, yeah. and the movie cuts off. Yeah. It's but a logical then. spot. But you knew that thing. Well, I knew this was doing part one. A lot of people... I knew it was, too, because you told me, yeah. but I didn't... It, I don't feel like it was marketed fairly. It's a logical conclusion to this film where they stopped it. Not knowing what is going to happen after. I can't agree yes. to that. I don't. Could I have sat there for another two and a half hours? Straight up, yes. Just watched the whole thing, all of it put together. Absolutely. freaking How much more is coming? Is there still another two and a half hours to tell? Yeah. There, there's. They there's, couldn't have ended it anytime soon? No. Oh, okay. There's a I lot mean, more to tell? If you do the book like you're doing most of the book... There's a lot of story still. You have the same book as I do? Yes. Don't you feel like it's chintzy? The pages are very light. It's almost like tissue paper. 
It's just the new printing of it. It's I don't I care for it. It feels chintzy. Well, it doesn't have you the go feel. find, you go get the hardback versions that are like... If anybody out. has the original uh, copy, send me one. I don't think anyone's going to send you a copy. And then we'll talk about it. I don't think anyone's going to do that. First me. edition, I would like. Oh, 1964 is... Oh, the first, first edition. 1965, excuse me. Um, but, through and through, performance-wise, everyone nailed their part. Chalamet, I had nothing against him as Paul Atreides. He was Who's very, Chalamet? Timothy Chalamet. I'm just going to post again that we're live. He was very good. He was... That's the guy? He was very good at what he did. I had nothing against him being in there. Who had beef with Timothy Chalamet? Chalamet. Nobody had beef, just nobody thought, oh, he bro, this little young dude, he's like the hottest thing in Hollywood. Nobody thinks he would be that good as Paul Atreides. Was it an Oscar-worthy performance? No. Did I expect it to be? No. Was he very good? Did he make me believe he was Paul Atreides? Yes. On he's the I just started Messiah. the book. I started the book. I've only read twenty pages. Okay. And from the wait, he's like a fifteen seems, year old boy. Yeah, he seemed younger in the book. Yeah. And they made this guy wasn't fifteen. No. Okay. But if you watch Dune nineteen eighty four, that was Kyle McLaughlin, who you you know him but you don't know his name. He was like probably in his twenties when he made that film, so he was even older. So that was interesting. So Timmy is younger. He looks young, and he was perfectly. He suitable doesn't look like a fifteen-year-old though. No, but he is perfectly suitable as the coming Messiah. How old possibly. is he supposed to be in the book? In the movie, 16, 15 to twenty. I don't know. He can't pass a fifteen-year-old. No. Was he eighteen, nineteen? Sure. Go for Timmy being that old. Hmm. He's probably older than that in real life. Is he? They shot it two years ago. Oh, so he's know. aged. He's like an aged wine. Yes. But Timmy, very good. Tim Oliphant, you said his name was? Oh. Who is that? Is that a person? Good God. See, this is the tangents I don't need. I don't know who Timothy Oliphant who is. Timothy Oliphant. You've seen him a hundred times in a hundred different things. What's his name? I can't work like this. Sorry. All right. So you saw it in IMAX. Yes. <laughs> we're not past that yet. Obviously not. That's the first thing we're just going to keep hammering home. <laughs> if you can here. support it in theaters, people, if you're comfortable, you you like a support us first. A more a deeper science fictiony film than just a wham bam action every three seconds. Support this movie or watch it on HBO Max, please. It's free if you have HBO Max. Fifteen dollars a month, but it's still yes. Watch it on TV. Support it. Let the numbers show that they made a smart decision. They already They're making another one. Film. I know, but still support it. Don't let it die this weekend. It made forty million dollars. Don't let That's it not fall. Enough. It need. You could give it more. It needs more. It's not MCU numbers. It's the definitely Eternals not. will come out in two weeks. Another two and a half hour film. Guarantee it makes seventy to ninety million dollars opening weekend. Really? Even though it's supposed to be shit. It said it's not a good one. Yeah. Why? But it'll get seventy to ninety million because it's a Marvel movie. Superman's in it. I heard. No, he's not. They the mention mentioned of Superman. Ooh. The mention of Superman. Stop it! Move what? on from this. All right. All right. All right, so all right, so that you like the actor, you liked all the actors. Then the Everyone guy died. Really you gotta admit that guy's name is really stupid. Duncan Idaho. Yeah, it's a terrible name. It's a corny it's a character's name for fifty years. Well, it should never have been. That's corny. Your spoiler warnings over here. Yes, you're spoiling a movie from. I didn't spoil thing. anything. I just so thought his name died. was Tony. He said he died. Oh, did I? Yes. Oh, he doesn't die, does he? Does he die Duncan in the book? I the book. I'm, just, I'm only 20 pages in. Well, you got more pages to go. I have like 600 more pages. Yes. I'm into it. I like it. Um, so I liked it. <laughs> I saw an IMAX and you liked it. There you go. End of show. That's that's apparently <laughs> all there is. See Dune. I liked it. I, I could have done, like I said, I could have done with a one or two less uh, flash forward visions. visions he, has, visions. he has to have visions. Do they all come true? That's the point of the visions that you have to see what he is seeing why he That's would the go future. There. That's a vision of the future. Does it always come true? Exactly yeah. like that? No. Beautiful. All right. Spice. Let the spice flow. It made him do that. The spice melange does things. The melange. It, it, so it explain it to me. It gets in you. Explain it to me. It's like a drug. The spice melange. Is a drug, essentially. But it makes other people that are going to travel through space be able to see the future to know if they're going to crash or not? Is that the gist of it? They said they could use it to, to steer through space or something. You're seeing to that. make sure you don't crash. Yes. It's dangerous out there. 
It's dangerous traveling one from planet to planet. What I didn't catch, and I'm glad I read the book, and I've only read 20 minutes. So that doesn't. Minutes. I mean, it, it probably took me more than 20 minutes to read 20 pages. Uh, I didn't realize, which was very cool, and I'm, I, I like this little nugget. I didn't get from the movie at all that they have. It's it's fewer, It's in the future. It's like the year 10,000. I understand. It says that. that right there. No, that's not the part I'm talking about. It is the future. It's the future, but it's a future where they outlawed robots and supercomputers and stuff like that. You see no technology. Which, that's that. what it was curious. But it's, they had the Czech robot check, checky check. What? The robot the girl. The robot? What? The girl. They had the, the thing. She got hurt. Oh. I might doctor? Be, what are you talking about? Who might be a talking? different movie. Hold on. Might be a different movie. Yeah, I don't recall. Uh, the Benny Jesuit did the box, and there was no hurt person that was a robot that I can recall of five days ago. So I think you're thinking of something completely different. I'm watching two shows on Apple TV right now. Well, that's not. One's called. Yeah. Foundation, and the other one's. Foundation. The Sam Neill sci fi show. And the other one's the Sam Neill sci fi show. I recommend both of them. There you go. One of them has a chick robot in it. Oh, that's what it is. It's Foundation. It's got the emperors, the three emperors, but they're clones of each other. And the mom turns out to be a robot. And you see him sitting in the mirror and she's putting herself back together. Yeah, she's not in Dune at all. Foundation's good, dude. Cohesive thoughts here. Have you watched um, Foundation, though? If you like, I'm telling you, if you like this otherworldly sci-fi slowiness, you'll dig this. This has three emperors. That have been cloned, so it's got a boy, a middle guy, and an old version of these people, because they've cloned themselves. And there's an empire, and there's, it's pretty cool, man. It, it's up Dune's alley, and it's even it's up Dune's alley. It ain't Dune. I, I said it was up its alley. Dune. I think is, it was a book too. Yes, yes. So the foundation right. is an old book as well. Okay, well maybe Timothy Oliphant wrote that one too. Frank Herbert wrote that one too. I'm sure he didn't. Maybe he, he was friends with the guy who wrote it, and they, like, collaborated in the basement. How do you know? Somebody Google it. We'll get the producer. Producer, Google it. And we'll get back in a minute. Anyway, I don't think... Maybe they said it. I'm going to Google it. Um, did they uh, say it in the movie? What? That uh, well, uh, what, you have there was no, techno no technology. No. Didn't they allude to a, a robot war or something? Or is that in Foundation too? It's a robot war. It's not fucking Star Wars. There's no <laughs> robot war. I think in the in the show Foundation. Hey, stop crossing the sci-fi streams it's, here, sir. I gotta Google. You've been on Dune. It was called Dune. The show is called Dune today. You're hitting me with Apple TV. I don't got time for robot technology. Dude, Foundation's good. Oh, maybe I'll get to it. Look, these were books. Let's see when they're written. Books. Foundation. Look, Asimov novel. Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov. Look at this. His name Isaac Asimov. Nice. When did your guy write? This is from 1951. Okay. They goddamn could have been friends. They, they could have been. When did your man write it? 50? 55. Oh, see? Isaac Asimov came out first. It's not the same thing. Wait a second. If you told me that George Lucas read Dune, took some of that shit, and made an awesome movie, Everything. maybe... Frank Herbert read Isaac Asimov's Foundation and took a little of that. Hold on. He's settling a case for Frank, nobody. Frank Herbert could have written, could have read Foundation. They could have. As a young lad. I don't think he was young 14 years before that. You but can write a movie when you're 14. You can. Bang. You can. All right, so now I'm confused because I saw these uh, shows. Yeah. <laughs> Did I, you see? I can't. No, I haven't seen Foundation. Before? Of, oh, uh, what? Inside job or inside? Watch episode one. <laughs> she makes a clone, ex mocking his style. She wants to go on a date, but she's she's. So... I can't tell what show or movie or thing we are talking about right this the second. The chick, the main chick, her name's Regan. In what? <laughs> inside man or inside that job? Inside man is a Spike Lee joint with Clive. Inside o job. And Denzel Washington. Inside inside job. Okay, the on animated Netflix. show. Yes, it is great. The <laughs> main... <laughs> Dune, so quick. No, I'll be back. No, the main not. character is named Regan, and she ex machina some robots. Ex machina is very good. Because she's afraid to like hug people, so she makes a robot because she doesn't want to go on a date. So she makes a robot of this guy, 
and then they go out on a date just to test things out. But then she runs away and gets spaghetti sauce in her face, and the real guy's in the restaurant and sees her, and she freaks out, and he goes, "Reagan, is that you?" And she goes, "No, I gotta go cook the pasta, Mario Kart." <laughs> it's a great scene. You have to watch the show. That is your homework. You I must no watch at least no one episode before next week. I ain't get no homework. You will love it. I probably won't. It's hilarious. All right, back to Dune. Ted Lasso? No. No, this is better than that. Oh, yeah. Every day of the week. All right, here we go. Dune's back. There's no robot wars. I At saw some... it in IMAX. Can we pass that one still? At some point, they outlawed robots, computers, anything like that. That's why they live the way they live. Technology, yes. Now, is that outlawed in the whole empire or just in like oh, this, that man. planet? I don't get that deep in the lore, sir. I don't go that far. I want to know. Read! You have the book! You think this Read. one book expands on whether there's technology in the whole empire? I don't know. You, you can... can have technology to fly from to world to world, but you can't have... What? what robots? Where did they cut it off? If These are the things ever, I need to know. Forever. You should have buttered up, son. You should have buttered up with your knowledge. You're not watching Inside Job. You could be buttering up with Dune. I've read the book. I've seen the original. I've seen the sci-fi series. I've done all I need to all do. Right, with look, Dune. all the people in the chat log here want you to see Inside Job I, and report on it next I week. I don't think they do. All the people are asking me. Got some weird computer happening over there. All the kids are asking. I don't think anyone is. All right. Well, this show isn't made for today. It's made no, for tomorrow. Here we go. Here it's made we go. for the future. It's future proof. If Dune can be written in sixty, whatever you said. And a movie made in 20 whatever it is now, then this show can be watched in the 2040s. Who are we trying to convince with this? I'm trying to convince you. I don't like to think this. It's for the future, baby. 